Hi, I'm Mateo and today I'm going to be showing you the best method for grinding tons of candy corn in Pet Simulator 99. And if you follow this video closely, you will be making thousands of candy corn gifts a day, so it's important that you pay attention. Candy corn is actually broken right now with how much it drops in this update, so right now is when you should be taking full advantage of this to make tons of diamonds each day. And on top of all of that, candy corn also contributed to your clan battle, so this video will help you out a lot with that. And if you are able to make a lot more candy corn after watching this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more helpful Pet Simulator 99 content content. Now let's get straight into this video. All right, you guys. So as you can see here, it is spooky season and in Pet Simulator 99, that means we need to be grinding for candy corn. Now, candy corn is very useful for a few reasons. For one, you can use it to turn into a bunch of these candy corn gifts, which gives you a chance at the huge skeleton cat. And then on top of that, as you can see in the bottom here, you're going to see that I'm getting tons of points for my clan every time that I pick up these candy corn. As you can see, it's just going to be stacking points on points as I keep picking up more and more candy corn as you can see the current clan battle is to loot pumpkin and candy corn drops now pumpkins are a lot harder to get but candy corn drops so much it's actually ridiculous now if I go into my inventory you guys will see I have over 7,000 of these candy corn gifts and then on top of that if we go back into the machine you can see I have over 17,000 of the candy corn which means that I can make around 1,700 of these gifts. Now, these are valued at around 80 million diamonds, but of course, it's going to take 20 million-ish to actually make them. So if I did go ahead and actually sell these, I would really only be making about 60 million, but that is still quite a bit of time. And I think these candy corn only took me about five hours of grinding, maybe six. So yeah, you guys, I am not joking when I say you can make loads of diamonds every single day in this update just by grinding and selling your candy corn. And by the way, because there is a 10,000 diamond fee for making each of the gift bags, that means it is actually more worth it for you guys to sell the candy corn at its current price compared to actually creating the gift bags and then selling them there of course it's just going to be harder to sell these in bulk because you can only sell 5,000 at a time in the trading plaza but let's just get right into how you're going to make all of this candy corn because right now is when you should be taking full advantage of this now the name of the game when grinding for candy corn in pet sim 99 is going to be speed so whether it's your pets, your enchants, your ultimates, whatever it is, every single thing should be increasing how fast you're able to break through these breakables. Now I'm going to go more into depth about all of your enchant loadouts and your ultimates and all that later in this video. But really quickly, we do need to start with the basics on that. So first of all, when grinding for any types of drops in breakables, being inside a private server is going to be your best bet because that's going to enable you to be able to break all of the breakables that are spawning instantly. And if you are in a public server, then there are going to be people that are stealing the breakables. And sometimes you're not going to get the drops for those if your pets aren't able to hit that breakable quick enough. So for that reason is why it is just best overall that you are in a private server. So with that in mind, what you're going to want to do is use a flag that is going to increase how fast you can go through breakables. Now for 99.999% of you guys, you do not need any sort of damaging flags for this. All you're going to want to do is use these hasty flags. These are just the best overall. And if you do have max upgrades, these flags are going to last you seven and a half hours. So you can pretty much go the whole night without having to put down more flags. Hasty flags just basically allow your pets to go around the area and hit breakables even quicker so like i said speed is going to be so important because you just need to be able to fly through these breakables as fast as possible now i've seen a lot of people use the treasure flags but honestly i personally don't think they're worth it but if you do want to go ahead and spend those diamonds on buying them then uh, that might be worth it for you but honestly i think these hasty flags are almost just as good because of how much faster your pets go and then another thing that you have to make sure you are doing when grinding this area let me turn off auto tap here and then put away all of my pets. Basically in Pet Simulator 99, there is a three hit limit on breakables, meaning that no matter what pet you have, how much damage it can do, it will only be able to destroy a breakable in a minimum of three hits. So if we go ahead and pull out one of our huge pets here and watch it destroy breakables, you're going to see that each time it hits a breakable, it's going to destroy it in three hits. Now that means it is at the damage limit because it is doing the max that it can to 
these breakables. If I give it any more potions or fruits or any other buffs like that, it is not going to be destroying these breakables any quicker. So you guys need to make sure that every single one of your pets that you're using in your lineup are able to destroy breakables in three hits. Because if they are not able to destroy these breakables in three hits, then they are going to take a lot longer to grind for these candy corn. Especially because in this event world, we only have access to use 15 pets at a time. Even if you just have exclusive pets, you need to make sure that you have a really good stat pet so that all of your pets are able to destroy breakables. Now, currently, my best stat pet is this Rainbow Pumpkin Scarecrow, and there's about 130,000 of these that exist. And you should be able to find these for around a million diamonds each. So this is a very good investment for you if you don't have something better. Or this Ghost Axe Lot, for example, really isn't that much worse and it's selling for like 500,000 diamonds. So definitely pick one of these up. With that stat pet, even if I'm just using a 95% exclusive, you could see that I am still three-shotting these breakables. So honestly, you don't even need huges to do this. This is just a regular exclusive pet and it is still able to three-shot breakables. And I'm also pretty sure that all of the charms on these huges don't really work inside of these event worlds. So if you need to, just go out and buy a full team of exclusive pets and then that one stat pet that I showed you and you should be able to easily three hit all of these breakables now in terms of options for your ultimates this is also a very important one just use this pet surge honestly it is so good everybody can afford it it's only 15,000 diamonds in a wrap i'm sure most of you already have one make sure you get this to level 99 because this is just the best ultimate overall in the game i feel i've even tested out using this hidden treasure ultimate which is 2.5 billion diamonds and honestly, I think the pet surge is just better. Now, moving on to one of the last, but probably one of the most important things and probably what you came to this video to see is the enchant loadout. Now, remember what I told you earlier, speed is key for this. So that's exactly what I incorporated into my enchant loadout. Starting off with two speed five books, because yes, these things definitely do stack despite what a lot of people think. And this is very good because this allows your pets to move at 200% speed, which allows them to absolutely fly around the area and get to the next breakable as soon as they break theirs and then on top of that we also have happy pets which gives them a random burst of joy which allows them to break the breakables faster as well as move faster so all of that is very important and that is why we do use happy pets in this lineup now on top of that i am not a hundred percent sure if any treasure hunter buffs at all actually contribute to how much candy corn drop in the past treasure hunter hasn't worked in these event worlds especially for these event world type items like candy corn but since we aren't 100 percent sure i just throw them in there and it's been working for me there's nothing else i would really use in this lineup anyway so i might as well use these slots for these treasure hunters but i'll let you guys make that decision for yourself i think if anyone tells you they know that treasure hunter works or doesn't work for this event world and they're not a dev then they're probably lying to you i definitely don't know and i haven't got any confirmation of that anywhere else either now moving on to probably the more controversial controversial of the enchants in this lineup are actually these two large tab books as well as super lightning now the reason why i use this is because i do have the auto tap game pass so if i go ahead and put my pets away and turn on auto tap here you could see that auto tap with these double large taps and the lightning absolutely does destroy a ton of breakables on its own now if you don't have the auto tap game pass i definitely wouldn't suggest you using this just because you aren't going to be hit each breakable consistently but as you can see with the game pass it most definitely does contribute to doing a decent amount of damage to these breakables which helps your pets to fly through and get as much candy corn as possible besides these three enchants i don't know what else would really help with actually grinding candy corn so right here is what i think is the perfect setup if you don't think treasure hunter works you could use something like these nightmare or books but yeah this is the setup that i've been using to grind tons and tons of these candy corn now the the only other thing I do use that I didn't talk about are these cocktails. Now, the reason why you use cocktail potions over something like Treasure Hunter 9 or 10 or whatever the top potion is now is because with the cocktail potion, you're actually getting an increase of item drops by 100%. And if you compare that to like this potion 9, you only get a 70% increase in drops. Again, I'm not sure if any of these drops buffs do work for candy corn specifically. So I'm just using them just in case. But even if it doesn't work for item drops, you are getting so much other boost with it as well so and then 
one last suggestion for you guys if you are grinding in this area if you are afk overnight and if you're opening eggs or doing whatever just make sure you put your cursor like over here so that you're auto tapping the chest and you're able to get those drops from the chest as well i'm honestly not sure if you even get candy corn from breaking that big chest but you might as well go ahead and get those drops for free while you're grinding this now hopefully this video was able to help you out and if it did remember to give it a like and subscribe for more and let me know if i should open up a ton of these candy corn gifts in my next video these things are quite expensive so i could get like 10,000 of these and open them for a video so let me know if that would interest you either way thank you guys so much for watching hope to catch you in the next one and peace out